So Joe Budden has responded to NBA Youngboy's heated rant towards him. Hey, it's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX, and check this out. So Joe Budden has responded to NBA Youngboy's heated rant towards him. Hey, it's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX, and check this out. Joe Budden has fired back at NBA Youngboy by claiming that he's way bigger than him. Youngboy recently hurled a slew of insults at Budden after Budden called him trash on the Joe Budden podcast. In response to Youngboy's rant, Budden has argued that Youngboy's career is faltering and he backed up his claim by reading the first week sales for a number of YB's recent projects. Y'all don't think Joe was clout chasing with that? No, he's he's a, he's a, he he his podcast is the number one music podcast. podcast. So he's, he... I just want to say I'm way bigger than him. Stop this. You are not oh, bigger than shit. young boy, Joe. I think you, you are not bigger talk. than young boy. I think you guys should talk. I think <clears throat> he says way bigger than him. He's speaking on a overall presence platform, like no, not, not the young, the, you you young idiots get fooled by these label metrics and these digital tricks. Would you like me to read you the numbers on Young Boy's last six projects? No, go for it, go for it, no, 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 go for it, go for it, yo, don't, don't cut him off while he's talking, yo, Joe, go for it. Right. <laughs> you want to read? I mean, I don't want to. I, did, I mean, I, didn't, oh, I, no, had, I didn't, didn't didn't think I had to do this. Because I'm sure someone here is recording. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we're always, we record every... You. 2022. Real 20, quick. 2022, never broke again. Quando Rondo, LLC, 14,000 copies. Week one, Billboard position 62. Then you have uh, Fed's Baby, Money Bag, yo. 2017, 21,000. Week one. 38, uh, 3,800 degrees, October 7th, 2022, 24,000. Uh, what else we got better than you with the baby? March 4th, 2022, 28,000. Until I return, 2020, 29,000. Stop this, yo. Stop. You skipped a January, bunch of projects, January, bro. January 6th, 2023. Jameson, 29,000. Here, we got another one here, 2022. Drum, I got a family, 39,000. We got another one here, September 6th. Never broke again, 39,000. We got another one here, 2018, 43,000. We got another one, 43,000, 2018. We got another one here, 51,000, 2023. The point is... You, you're doing a lot for somebody that don't sell more than 60,000 records. Like, stop it. I get they fell for the bots, Joe! Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. But enough of it. Enough young people just saying stupid shit in hip-hop. We get it. You like who you like. Awesome. But it's not this dominant force that you niggas keep trying to make it out to be. Y'all do the same thing with Grant. Y'all do the same thing with all these new niggas that y'all like. Just stop, yo. Now, despite Joe Budden's comments, NBA Youngboy has earned over 60,000 first week units several times in his career with projects like 2020's Top, which earned 126,000, 2021's Sincerely Contrail, which earned 137,000, and 2022's The Last Slimito, which earned 108,000. And on Joe's side of things, his first and only major label album, 2003's Joe Budden, sold 95,000 copies in its first week and debuted at number eight on the Billboard 200. So what are your thoughts on the continued back and forth between Joe Budden and NBA Youngboy? And do you think Youngboy will respond to these latest statements from Joe? Let us know in the comments section. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and keep it locked to Hip Hop DX.